Good day everyone, you are welcome to our teaching series of SS1 Physics. Uh, our topic still remains units and measurements. Now, last class we divided the quantities we have into two. As the quantities we measure in physics into two, we say we have the fundamental quantities and we have the derived quantities. Of course, we mentioned the seven fundamental quantities we have, which we call the length time, mass, temperature, current, uh, luminous intensity, and amount in mole. Uh, we say all these quantities I mentioned are not derived from, they don't depend on other quantities for their, der for their derivation. But there are other quantities which depend on these quantities for derivation. We say they are all called derived quantities. Of course, we also said that every quantity we always have a unit. You cannot just measure length without saying uh, the length, without saying this length is 10 inches or 10 meter or 10. The 10 is the quantity, while the meter or inches or anything that follow is the quantity. So that is going to be an offense. It's going to be an offense for you to write uh, anything in physics, any quantity in physics without putting, without assigning units to it. Now, today we are going to deal with this derived quantities in full and how we have their sub multiples we say they are always derived from the fundamental quantities by manipulation either multiplying it dividing it so let's see So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to derive and give, I mean, any given derived quantities with their respective SI units. You must be able to convert these submultiples of units to the SI units we have. That is, unit of length, meter, the unit of time, seconds, and so on. Now, these are some derived quantities, some of the derived quantities we have. Uh, you can see area. Is a derived quantities. Area is a derived quantities, and the unit of area. I mean, the, the how do you find area? We say area is length and spread. You are familiar with that length and spread. And length is the length that is still distance. Length times length. Breadth is also still the length of uh is length of any object. Now, if you multiply length times length, it gives you L square, and the unit is the unit of length is meter meter square. The unit of area is meter square. The same thing applicable to volume, length and length and length, instead of length and breadth and height. Breadth is still length, height is still length, and you can see the unit is meter cube, L cube. Now, density is mass all over volume, that is, mass in kilogram all over the volume we just found here. Volume is a derived quantity. Now, the same thing applicable to velocity, length over time. Velocity is either distance or displacement over time which are both length length is in meter time is in seconds that's why we have the unit of velocity or speed to be meter per seconds area is velocity velocity over time velocity is a derived quantities and time is a uh, fundamental quantities you can see velocity uh, is the unit of velocity is meter per seconds and the unit of time is seconds if you do that you have meter per second square Force. Force can be weight. Weight of an object is also force. That is, force is the product of mass and its acceleration. If we say weight, weight is the product of mass and the acceleration due to gravity. Now, mass is in kilogram, while uh, acceleration is in meter per seconds. We just derived that. And this is kilogram meter per seconds, also known as Newton. Newton, capital N. Energy or work done, force times distance, the unit is, if you put the unit of force, force the derived quantities, and if you do that, you have the unit of a kilogram, meter, per, meter square per second square, also known as joule. Pressure, pressure is the, uh, is the division, that is the ratio of force per unit area, the force over area, and uh, the unit is Newton per meter square. Newton as a unit of force, and the area the unit, I mean, meter square is the unit of area, and uh, it is also known as Pascal. Pascal, the unit is Pascal. Now, 
uh, there are rules. But before you understand these rules, you should be able to know that these derived quantities either depend on the uh, derivation from the fundamental quantities or derivation from the uh, derived quantities itself. Some depend on the derived quantities, while some depend on the fundamental quantities for them to be derived. Now, these rules are used for writing SI units. Now, full name of unit always starts with small letter. Anytime you are writing units, you don't start with capital letter, you start with small letter, even if, the, if, even if it is named after a scientist. For example, Newton, you don't write capital Newton, you don't write N as capital. Ampere is a name, though, but you don't write it as capital Ampere. You write it small Ampere. Now, symbol for units, if it is named after scientist, you put capital letter. For example, N for Newton, capital K for Kelvin, not Ampere for, you don't use, I mean, you use Ampere for Ampere, that is A for Ampere, capital C for Coulomb. You don't use small letters for the names of scientists when writing, uh, when abbreviating or when uh, using symbol for units. Symbol for all other units, if it is not name after uh, scientists you use small letter like small m for meter small kg for kilogram small s for seconds small cd for candela now one space is always leave one space you always put one space in between the quantity that is the digits and the units you put 10 then space kg not 10 without space kg write 5 newton this way and not this way that is 5 newton not this one so you always put space now units do not have plural yes not if this is not now we don't do we are not doing english here so we are doing physics so we don't write uh meters don't say meters you write meter you don't say kgs say kg kilogram 14 kilogram not 14 kilograms no you don't put plural now full stop should not be used after units you don't put full stop i told you we are not doing english here seven meter you put space 12 newton you put space 25 kg not you don't put decimal point you don't put a full stop you're not doing english now <clears throat> these are symbols for uh si units the, I'm talking about the symbol for SI previses. So most of the time we always have uh, digits, I mean we always have uh, uh, values that are bigger than 10, far far bigger than 10 or far far less than 10 or they are multiples of 10 and we give them names. Now whenever I hear the word deci, <coughs> deci simply means 10 raised to the power minus 1. Whenever I hear the word centi, centi minus 10 raised to the power minus 2 is denoted as small c milli 10 raised to the power minus 3 small m micro 10 raised to the power minus 6 mil nano 10 raised to the power minus 9 n pico 10 raised to the power minus 12 small p femto 10 raised to the power minus 15 small f ecto i mean ato 10 raised to the power minus 18 small a then we have uh other units that are bigger than 10, let's say multiples of 10. 10 raised to the power 1, we say is deca, D A, small d A. We have ecto, small h, 10 raised to the power 2. 10 raised to the power 3 is small k, which is kilo. Kilo means 1000, 10 raised to the power 3. Mega means 10 raised to the power 6, which is 1 million. Giga, 10 raised to the power 9, which is 1 billion. Terra, capital T, which is 10 raised to the power 12. All these ones are going to be used. We are going to apply them as we proceed in physics. Now, take this example. You have to convert 3 milliampere. Milli, we say, is 10 raised to the power minus 3. That is why 3 milliampere. 3 milli, 10 raised to the power minus 3, then ampere. Simple thing. You just use it directly. 5 micro volt. 5 micro is 10 raised to the power minus 6. Then you put it volt. 8 nanoseconds. It's 8 nanosecond. 8 nano. Nano is 10 to the power minus 9. Then second. 
6 pico uh, picometer 6 picometer pico is 10 power minus 12 5 kilometer 5 10 power minus 3 meter i mean 10 power 3 meter kilo is 10 power 3 the mega is 10 power 6 as simple as that now these are some uh maybe some practical units for measuring length you see femto 10 power minus 15 and so on this types of stats we say it is light year whenever you hear the word light year light year is just uh 9 times 9.5 times 10 power 5 meter that is the is the distance traveled by light in vacuum for one year that is just one year now we can see light year is also one of the unit of length light year is one of the unit of length so we have ton unit of mass ton is a unit of mass you see these are some practical units of mass for measuring mass you have quinta there is that is a hundred kilogram we have slug if you have one slug of uh, crops like rice that is a, it simply mean 14.59 kilogram if you say they just give birth to a baby one pound one pound simply means 0 0.45 kilogram 454 kilogram for a newborn baby ton you can use it for bars of iron or steel bars which one ton mean 1000 kilogram uh, in SI unit now uh, some practical unit of measuring time you know that one minute 60 seconds one hour 60 minutes one solar day 24 hours sedera day 23 hour 56 minutes incomplete day one week seven solar day lunar and so on you can see so take for example you are to convert 108 kilometer per hour to its appropriate unit which is supposed to be meter per second meter for for length and the uh, hour uh, seconds for time 108 kilometer per hour that is still the meaning then you write 108 kilometer all over one hour 108 times kilo is 1000 meter all over hour is 60 minutes times 60 seconds you convert that if you do that you have 30 meter per seconds so at the end of this lesson you should be able to answer the question that follow thank you very much